When I say the word pandemic, you are probably thinking of SARS coronavirus too. But there's another pandemic going on at the moment, and it is arguably just as important. African swine fever. African swine fever is an acute hemorrhagic disease with a lethality rate of close to 100%, affecting animals of the Suide family, like domestic pigs and wild boar. As the name suggests, the disease is endemic in Africa. But in 2007, a highly virulent strain has been introduced into the country of Georgia via contaminated pork meat. From there, the disease has spread all across Europe, Central America and Asia, including the largest pork producer in the world, China. As a consequence of this pandemic, over 100 million pigs have either died or had to be culled in an attempt to dampen the spread of the disease. As you can imagine, this is a major socio-economic disaster worldwide, especially considering the fact that pork meat is one of the main protein sources for people all around the world, but especially in rural and developing countries. The disease is caused by the African swine fever virus, an incredibly complex and large DNA virus. Besides having a beautiful icosahedral morphology, the virus has a very large double-stranded DNA genome of close to 200,000 base pairs, encoding over 160 genes. Out of those 160 genes, however, only about half have characterized and elucidated functions, and most of them are what we call essential genes. That means that they're indispensable for the viral replication cycle and infectivity. However, in complex viruses, it is often the non-essential genes that carry important accessory functions, such as those involved in modulating the interactions between the virus and the host's innate and adaptive immune responses. The lack of knowledge about the functions of these non-essential genes is also something that explains the lack of vaccines or therapeutic approaches for African swine fever virus. This is where my PhD project comes in. I genetically manipulate the African swine fever virus by removing or knocking out single genes, creating a library of single gene knockout mutants. We can then characterize the behavior of these single gene knockout mutants in either cell lines, in vitro, or in animals, in vivo. This allows us to draw conclusions on the functions of these genes. It is complicated and difficult to manipulate complex DNA viruses with basic genetic tools. This is why a large part of my project is aimed at improving existing and discovering novel uh, methods to genetically manipulate the African swine fever virus. Currently, I'm focused on CRISPR-Cas9 assisted homologous recombination and a novel synthetic genomics platform. In this synthetic genomics platform, the virus genome is fragmented, manipulated and then reassembled within a yeast cell. This allows us to efficiently and rapidly manipulate the African swine fever virus genome and draw conclusions on the functions of non-essential genes. This in turn will help to develop prophylactic and therapeutic modalities, which in turn will hopefully make the world a less hostile place for our poor sign friends.